Hello, <laughs> how's it going? Do you know what time it is? It's time to get ill, ill, ill. Do, 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 do. Right, Daily Stoic. I love this book. It's lovely feel to the paper. Just, I love books. I just love books. Anyway, digressions, digressions. 25th of January. Oh, this is a long one. This is a long one from Marcus Aurelius Meditations. They're usually my favourites. What's left to be prized? This, I think, to limit our action or inaction to only what's in keeping with the needs of our own preparation. It's what the exertions of education and teaching are all about. Here is the thing to be prized. If you hold this firmly, you'll stop trying to get yourself all the other things. If you don't, you won't be free, self-sufficient or liberated from passion, but necessarily full of envy, jealousy and suspicion for any who have the power to take them. And you'll plot against those who do have what you prize. But by having some self-respect for your own mind and prizing it, you will please yourself and be in better harmony with your fellow human beings and more in tune with the gods, praising everything they have set in order and allotted you. Well, there's a lot in that. There's a lot in that. Jealousy and envy and suspicion versus being free, self-sufficient, or liberated from passion. Hmm. The exertions of education and teaching. Yeah. Uh, jealousy and envy. They're not good things to have in one's life, so I try not to, to have them. It's difficult. It's difficult. When you're a content creator and you see all these channels blowing up and you think, oh, why isn't that me? You know, victimhood, that kind of mentality. And that's ultimately what I'm moving away from with the stoicism stuff. You know, there was a time when I did feel, woe is me, life isn't fair. And it can stop you from feeling creative in any way, shape or form, because you think, well, all these people are crushing it, how can I even compete with that? But it's not a competition. It's just not. I've just been watching Matt Davella, who's put out a video about how he's scaled back his YouTube channel to just himself. He's cut back 10 employees. And there's a bunch of these videos on YouTube right now. Casey Neistat's another one. Another huge YouTuber who's cut back. There's loads of them. And I'm like, interesting. Interesting. Because you always think when you see these people, they must be super happy with the channels that they've built and the businesses that they've got. And, you know, it turns out, no, not so much. And in the video that uh, Matt Devella put out, he talks... He has a chat with some friends and mentors in the video. And in one of them he talks about how, you know, there's all of this content out there showing thumbnails, how to make $3 million in one week and all these, you know, ridiculous claims. And there's nobody making videos about just the daily slog of making enough, you know, growing slowly. It's not about scaling and going going to the moon. It's about just slowly iterating day after day. And that's what I'm doing. That's what this is. And the reason, you know, I keep sharing this, but the reason is because it helps me to stay above that depression line. You know, and I've been below it. It's horrible. I don't want to go there again. So through the creative act, through coming on and talking to you, through doing my pages every day, and my lovely fabric bound book. Hear that noise? Such a beautiful book. 
and I write every day with fountain pens and ink because it's it's joyful you know and I publish it and my channel isn't growing particularly well I'm getting one or two a week maybe at a push and that's okay I'm fine with that that keeps me well this keeps me well connecting to the higher power that's the goal and the creative act does that for me so yeah that's why I'm here and if you get something from it then ugh, so much the better you know because recovery is hard I know that and I think honestly I could probably say I've never been so well I'm feeling mentally strong and that's largely down to this and the book and the creative act so there we go that's what I took from today's reading and meditations you take from it what you will I'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching bye for now